everybody, Cole, Cole Mine Customs here. Uh, today we're going to go over actually how to engrave metal, uh, what you need for it, some settings, and some other tips on it. So let's get started. First off, you'll need to grab you some cold galvanized compound. Uh, this is the stuff that I've been using uh, for the last couple times that I've been doing some uh, metal engraving and it's worked really well. Uh, this is an older can. Um, of course, you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, and some of your other... Um, I think your ace hardwares and hardware store so runs about anywhere from 10 to 12 dollars for a can this size so today we're actually going to be doing the dog tag this is another project that i did a couple of days ago um, using the same method but i wanted to do something a little smaller today and actually show you the full um, layout on how this actually works so this is still um, stainless steel just like this um, but we're going to coat it with the cold galvanized so when you're spraying it like i said using the cold galvanized compound um, you don't want to spray it too heavy uh, of course you don't want to spray it too light either you just want a good even coat and i've just been putting one coat and it's been working out well it's hard to see it on camera but really just a really really light coat on there you want to give it time to probably dry uh, I've been letting it dry for about five minutes with it being 75 80 degrees and even warmer um, that's been working out um, now if it's something larger of course you probably want to let it dry a little bit longer but this stuff does actually dry pretty fast so uh, the wait time is really not that long all right, so we're actually finishing up another project. Gonna get this out of here real quick. Gonna take our dog tag. All right, so you're gonna find the laser and place it on top of the laser. And we're gonna hit auto measure. image come over here to user defined materials and hit auto measure okay so that's what it's telling us right there now I'm gonna come back over here and I explained in one video um, Getting it lined up, it seems to work better if you slide it up here a little bit closer to this line. So the picture actually captured a little bit better. Make sure you get it good and straight. So you can see this cold galvanized. So if you look right here on this corner, um, it does rub off pretty easy. So you gotta be kind of careful with it when you are handling it. Let it retake an image and move it. So. Uh, now you don't have to hit auto measure again because that's what our measurement actually is so i'm going to come over here and we're going to put some text on it okay so i got the text wrote out it's actually going to be my dog's name um, so if you can see we got it lined up the best we can um, so the next process we're going to go to is we'll go ahead and get this set up so your power you're going to want to set up to 100 and speed um, i have left it at this number uh, i've also done it a little slower um, but as, as of right now i'm just going to put it on this and see how it does uh, i have done you know in these uh, in this speed in the uh in this setting at 0.9 and it's also worked out of that but we'll leave it at this uh, right now so next you want to come over hit your framing now this is going to be so small um, it's going to be real hard to see the framing on it but you really do need to make sure that it is within the uh, the box of the framing okay from what i can tell that's where i want it here and click done and I'm actually going to back out for just a second and 
I actually want, I don't want to score this, I actually want to engrave it. So when you, once you do that, it will reset your, uh, your power. So you have to go back and set your power, and then we're going to do, go back to uh, 0.7. 6 I'm going to leave the lines per centimeter at 100. Um, I probably will reframe this again just to make sure since I did change some stuff. So it's estimated time 6 minutes. Let's just frame it out one more time. burn all the uh, coal galvanized off and it looks like it's taking it all away but it actually doesn't actually take it over to um, the sink and actually wash this off and scrub it off and see what the results are. So it actually speed it up a little bit faster instead of washing it and scrubbing and scrubbing. Um, if you'll take some of this and put it on a rag and then actually wipe it off, the process is so much faster. I just want to show you real quick. So you see where I tried to scrub some of it off. It will work underwater. You just have to really scrub it hard but you take um, the lacquer thinner and just on put it on a rag like this and within seconds it comes clean so so much faster um, of course it is you know chemical and stuff but when you're trying to get things done and you're on a uh, crunch for time uh, this is a whole lot faster so after it all said and done and cleaned up, that's what it looks like. So uh, I hope the video was helpful for you. Um, like I said, this is the smallest thing that I have uh, done so far is um, the engraving on metal. Uh, but this is the basic settings that I have been using, and it's been working out great. Um, like I said, I hope this uh, was helpful for you, and this does answer some of your questions. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like the channel, and we will see you next time.